out early in the morning, five under for the day. What would you like about second round heading into the weekend? Yeah, I mean, I played pretty good. Kind of, you know, grinded a little more today than yesterday. Um, you know, had to save a few for par, but, you know, always good to have no bogeys. So it's a good round. Where are you in your medical status? What, um, I always lose track of that. I think I got like eight starts left, so kind of, you know, basically just kind of play the rest of the year. And then I'm, I'm, I've basically just used it all this season, so kind of going on this year's points more than, more than my points. They'll probably end up being pretty close to the same, but I got seven starts, I guess, after this. So it's not like every week you say, oh, my God, this is the week I have to. Yeah, I, I've really just been kind of basing it off this year. So play good, figure it out figure it out at the end <laughs> but um you play here you know you have to just keep making birdies is that is that sometimes more pressure on that than saying okay you know 70 70 is a good score 71 is a good score yeah um I mean every every year it seems like it's pretty low here and it's pretty firm this year so far like the balls are kind of rolling out and everything so um you know, the scores have been really good. Just seems like you got to probably keep doing that the next couple of days. But, yeah, I, I think every week's different, though. You know, sometimes you get on a place and, uh, you know, you have to go really low and it's easy. And then sometimes, like this week, you, you got to hit good shots and, you know, make the putts. Was there ever, did it ever get to the point where you thought a couple of years ago that maybe I won't be on the PJ tour and I'll, I'm just going to build a great golf course and... <laughs> Run the pro shop. Well, you know, the first year when you're kind of out, uh, I, I didn't really get a touch of club for a long time, and it was, it was actually pretty nice just hanging out at home, <laughs> you know, being with the family. You're on the road your whole life, basically, as a pro golfer. So it was it was cool to just be able to hang out with them. But, yeah, never never really thought about, like, not playing anymore. So it's definitely nice to be back out. On that note, I kind of want to ask you about the tree farm. It seems like, based on watching you on social media, it seems like when you're out on the road, you go out and you take in the places where you are. You go check out other courses. I can't think of any other guys who seem to enjoy the ride more than you do. <laughs> I'm just wondering if kind of the process of building your own course and, and going through the understanding of that has kind of reignited the, the passion for the game. Yeah, it's funny. Like, my, my first handful of years out on tour, I, I mean, I would I would definitely try and go play a lot of cool places. Um that was part of the you know process for me of you know figuring out what makes places good and seeing great golf courses and great clubs and I, I kind of stopped doing that a little bit the last handful of years. Um, obviously, didn't play for a couple of years and then this year I've really just been kind of at the tournament course and funny enough this week kind of you know went on a little bit of a heater, played Eastward Ho kind of before we came in and then played Fisher's Island on on uh, Tuesday and then played wing foot on Wednesday so um it, it's it's I, I just love playing golf and love seeing cool places so it's been fun to do something like that again and you mentioned being home for a little bit obviously I see your family out here with you quite a bit just talk a little bit about that journey and how nice it is to have them along for it yeah it's obviously awesome having them out anytime it's it's tough uh you know having two little ones you, you know my wife is so great at uh you know keeping it together and you know being a mom so you know, I'm hoping that they'll come out, you know, maybe next week or the week after that. But, it, you know, it's hard to travel with two little kids under under three by yourself. So, um, you know, she sometimes comes out when I can I can help or she has help. But um, always good to have them out for sure. Awesome. Thanks, CB. Appreciate cool. it. See you guys.